everybody! Here are all the games that I beat for me. The very first game I beat was God of War 3. It's uh, basically Kratos and it's a hack and slash game. You are getting betrayed by your father and you have to get a bunch of titans to help you and other people to guide you along the way to get to where you want to go, which is Pandora's box. You have to find Pandora's box, open it up, and hope that it will give you enough power to defeat your father. I loved it. It was a great game. I can't ever stream it. It's one of those games where because of all the nudity and everything that's going on with it, it's not going to happen ever. <laughs> so definitely recommend it for anybody who's a fan of the newer God of War games. Try it out. You'll see the different style and I like this one more than 1 and 2. The next game is a music game called Avicii Invector. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This is dedicated to the DJ, DJ Invici. He passed away sadly and he's on the cover of the game. So you are doing a rhythm game and you have to hit the correct buttons at the correct time. And the only thing that got a little obnoxious with the game was you are a ship and you're moving along hitting the stuff at the side moving side to side, hitting the buttons, and it would ask you to flip your, your ship. It just got to the point where it just kept flipping the ship way too much, and it's supposed to throw you off. It just really irritated me. It really didn't do anything to me other than go, I really am getting annoyed. So you play different levels, and they're actually songs that are on the radio. It's uh, legit songs. It's kind of like Guitar Hero, but just with a controller, so I recommend it to everybody who likes Guitar Hero to try this out. It was free on Game Pass, I don't know if it still is as of right now, so I would definitely check it out for sure. The next game is also a rhythm game, it's called Entwined. You are a fish and a bird, and you have to use different analog sticks, if that's all you're using as analog sticks, and you have to move them to the rhythm of the little dots that are on the screen, and they are in different patterns, so you get to the very middle and end of the game and it gets very difficult. Um, once you get to the point where both of them are connecting, you become a beautiful green dragon and the whole point is to get to that end. And the one thing I like about the game, it doesn't stop you, it just keeps letting you go through the loop until you finally get to where you can connect and become a, gr a dragon. So I recommend to everybody who is not sure about this one, try it out. It's kind of like Journey, Flower, and flow, those kind of games, but it's just rhythm instead of you searching around. You're not knowing what's going on, so you'll go through, do the rhythm section, and then after that you have to collect beads. But it doesn't tell you what to do or how to do it, you just have to go through the very end when you're a green dragon and find everything. So I enjoyed it, I liked it. I like those type of games where you just, you're left to your own devices and you don't know what to do until you start going, oh that's what you the next game is for Zombiethon. Zombiethon was May. Basically, I played a zombie game every stream for May. And Cat's Novel Adventures started this. It's basically Zombie Awareness Month. CDC created it, so you have to be prepared for a zombie apocalypse. You never know what's going to happen. So I prepared myself all of May by doing as many shooters or preparing with as many zombie games as I could. So I played House of the Dead 3 on the Wii. And I don't really remember House of the Dead 3, the storyline, so I wanted to pick that game. I know 1 and 2 very well because I played Typing of the Dead, which is the storyline for 2, and I played 1 with Remake a long time ago. So this one is like 20-some years later after the incident in the mansion, and you are now the daughter looking for your father, who are the two main guys from the original game. And the whole thing is you have to find out what happened to the father and the other guy. So you're going through the whole main line looking for your father. And you're using your partner, your father's partner, to help you along the way. I love the shooter. It's a good shooter. Um, it is hilarious. It does have a lot of creatures that are like, what the hell are they? <laughs> so you got gooey little weird creatures and then you got some big old guys that are holding barrels. And their, their AI is funny, so I definitely recommend this one for anybody. It's got a lot of stuff where you gotta stop the scientists, as like always. Stop the scientists, get through. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Resident Evil at this storyline, but not a bad thing. Next, I played Street Fighter 2, Genesis version. 
there's a little bit of a difference from the Super Nintendo version and the Genesis version. I played as Ryu, and when I got to the final four, um, the first two, you didn't notice very much of a difference, but it wasn't until you got to Sagat and M. Bison that I noticed that they have a little bit of a different pattern. It's not very noticeable unless you start looking at it, but uh, he likes to jump a lot more in this version and he likes to do the flame a different way. So he, in the Super Nintendo version, he likes to jump and then go into a flame, which is, again, humanly impossible. The AI is, like, super good. <laughs> so this one, um, he likes to switch it up. So he'll do a lot of flame, and then when he can't get you with a flame, he'll just jump over and over again, and you can't stop him. So you have to get a kick going, like a jump kick going. If you do your flame, he'll just flame you. So you have to, like get the pattern of the kick going. So, jump kick is your friend in this one, I guess, apparently. Played a puzzle game called Access Denied. Basically, it is a lot of just puzzles. You go through and you have a little puzzle box and you have to figure out what you need to click or move or combinations. It is a little difficult on some of them. And then what was weird is the very end was easy. Like, you had a couple easy ones in the beginning, which I was used to, but when you got to the very end, it was like, just push a button that's like hidden somewhere and I'm like that's the last puzzle okay and then you got a little cake at the very end to tell you congratulations you won <laughs> so I recommend it it's dirt cheap right now on like a sale happening so definitely try it out and I played another fighter this one is on PlayStation Premiere or PlayStation Extra I can't remember and it's Garu Mark of the Wolves this is basically Again, like another storyline of it's been so many years after the defeat of the the mob boss and now everything's quiet. And what do we want to do? We want to do a tournament, King of Fighters tournament. So it's a lot of the characters from King of Fighters. They're all there and they want to control and destroy everything and be the, the winner. So because it's quiet, we must fight now. So I liked it. It's good. Um, a lot of characters I really don't remember. It's from the 90s, so I really wasn't into that many fighters back then for SNK. So if you know all the fighters, tell me what was your main fighter that you picked for this one. Because this was my first time playing it. I really did enjoy it. Uh, there was a border that I like when they do that for the 90s version games. There's a border. So definitely try it out if you have it. Yet again, another fighter. This one is Darkstalker's Resurrection. I also saw that it was on PlayStation Premiere and wanted to try it out. I really don't play Darkstarkers games. Uh, they were not my cup of tea back in the day. I couldn't get the patterns down very well and I don't know why. It was just one of those things where it just wasn't for me. I don't know. Uh, I would see the arcade games and always go to Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat and we didn't really have Doc Starkers in the arcades where I was so I never got to be able to practice long enough to be good at the game so when I saw that it was available and it was free on the pass I just threw it on and I tried it. I found a good uh, character who is a samurai and if you know me I like samurais so I wanted to try it out so definitely recommend it. I don't know if it's still on the pass but Try and find it on the classic section. It's there. Then again, for Zombiethon, I decided that I need to again play another zombie game, and this one I beat, and it was called Beast Busters. This is from 1989, one of the first arcade shooters. Uh, it's got a lot of sequels, so if you do find it, definitely look it up. It was on the Mega at one time, and uh, <laughs> the Atari, I can't remember which Atari, but basically you are one of three characters. I picked Johnny Justice just for the name. And I think it's only based on like where you are on the board. So you're Johnny Justice and you have to find out what the mystery is going on in the town. There's a bunch of zombies. And lo and behold, the zombies can hold guns and shoot at you. Also, cars become zombies. It's like Christine on Stephen King on some level of drugs and you're hallucinating and everything is a zombie. And stuff's flying at you, zombie dogs, zombie bats, zombie hawks, and they're all working together. So a hawk will be holding a zombie and it will fly at you and throw the zombie at you. So intricate stuff the zombie crews have that make it go 
huh, you're going to die. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was a hilarious game. There's a lot of stuff. And again, a mad scientist. I've learned a pattern. It's a mad scientist who's created this and you have to stop him. So Johnny Justice did his job, got the, the zombies down. But yet again, it left it open for a sequel. And I found the sequel, but I haven't found the ROM to be able to play it. And I want to play it. So <laughs> be on the lookout for that. If you find any game called Beast Busters for any system, for the Amiga, for Neo Geo Pocket Color, try it out. It's definitely a game that's hilarious. So that one, I highly recommend. I played was with a buddy, Chris James, and we beat this game. This game took us three months and it was Streets of Rage 2 for the Genesis. We've been playing this off and on and when friendly fire is on, we kept suplexing each other and knocking our health down and then we could never get to the very end. So basically what happens is you are one of four characters. I was Blaze and Chris James was Max and you have to get through and stop the evil mob bosses from destroying and te terrorizing your city. And I liked it. I enjoyed it. It's always fun to play and beat a game with a buddy and I had a good time with this one. So if you are into beat-em-ups and you love beat-em-ups there's one you can play with a friend. And if you don't, you can play it solo. It's a solo game as well. So there is all the games that I played and beat. 10 in total for May. Let me know how was May for you. Did you have a good time? Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Zombiethon was fun and I had a blast playing all these games. So I'll catch y'all next time. Thank you for watching. If you're new, say the sub button. Helps out the channel and Give it a like, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye, everybody! Linda the Gamer Gal She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Gal She's here, she's playing